Hey guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to set up your Xbox One so that you can use your Windows 10 PC to power on, connect to, and stream from your Xbox One on any external network. First, there are a few things you'll need to know in order to do this. You'll need to set up some port forwarding on your router. You'll also need to find your Xbox One's live device ID as well as your home network's public IP address. I'll show you how to do all of this, so let's get started. First, we're going to set up port forwarding on your router. If you're unsure of how to do this, visit portforward.com for instructions. It's a great site that has information on virtually every router in existence, so you should be able to find yours with relative ease. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, we're going to be setting up two different kinds of ports, two single ports and one port range. We'll start with the single port forwarding. The two ports that you want to forward are 5050 and 4838. You'll set these to use both UDP and TCP protocols and forward them to the IP address associated with your Xbox One. Next, we'll set up a port range. The range of ports you want to forward are 49,000 to 65,000. And again, this will be set up using both UDP and TCP protocols and will be forwarded to your Xbox One's IP address. Next, we need to find your public IP address. There are a lot of ways to do this, but the easiest is simply to go to Google and type in what is my IP. As you see here, the first result will be your public IP address. Remember this, write it down, or simply leave the window open so we can come back to it, and let's move on. Our next step is to find and record the Xbox One live device ID. From your Xbox, go to Settings, System, and then Console Info and Updates. In the middle of the screen, you'll see your console information listed. The last piece of information is the one we're looking for, the Live Device ID. Write this number down, as we'll need it later in order to remotely power on your Xbox One. In order to power on your Xbox One, you'll need to download and install a tool called Xbox One On. You can find it in the Microsoft Marketplace, and I've left a link to it in the description below. Note that this will only work on Windows 10, so go ahead and pause the video while you install that, and we'll start the configuration when you come back. Once you have Xbox One on opened up, you'll see a Manage Personal Data screen. The two fields available are IP address and Xbox Live Device ID. Naturally, we're going to put our public IP and our live device ID into the respective fields and click Save. The next option in Xbox One On is the aptly named Xbox One On option, which will allow us to power on our consoles using the information that we put into the previous fields. Toggle the Use Save Data option, which will automatically fill your IP and device ID address, and click Turn On. This will power on your Xbox One. Finally, Start your Windows 10 Xbox application and navigate to the Connect screen. Select Add a Device, type in your network's public IP address that we got earlier, and click Connect. This will connect to your Xbox One, which will now set you up to remotely connect and stream from your Xbox One. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. 